This is the fire hydrant. It is a connection point by which firefighters can tap into a water supply. It is a component of active fire protection. Underground fire hydrants have been used in Europe and Asia since at least the 18th century. Above-ground pillar-type hydrants are a 19th century invention. The invention of the fire hydrant is unofficially credited to Frederick Graff, chief engineer of Philadelphia Water Works, in 1801. There are two types of fire hydrants, wet and dry. A wet hydrant has water in it almost all the way to the top of the hydrant, all the time. The water in a dry hydrant is held in pipes in the ground below the freeze line. When a dry hydrant is opened, the operating stem turns so water can fill the barrel of the hydrant. In our case, we will focus on dry hydrants. There are multiple types of dry hydrants, but the mechanism is alike. The fire hydrant is held in place by a concrete support and a gravel basis which ensures a good drain of water. The hydrant has more than 57 parts, and we're gonna focus on the most important ones. A hydrant has a shoe, barrel lower flange, barrel, safety flange, pumper cap, hose nozzle cap, stem nut, bonnet, nozzle section, hex head bolt and nut, operation stem with valve. This is a cross section of the dry fire hydrant. Let's see how it works. In the bonnet there is a hole through where lubricant is added. Now the fire hydrant can be opened easily. To open the hydrant the stem nut is turned. As is opening and the stem descends oil begins to flow into the interior of the operating nut, as the end of the operating stem clears a small hole in the nut. Once the hydrant is fully open the lubricant fills the cavity above the end of the operating stem. As the hydrant begins to close and the stem covers to hole, the oil is trapped and forced back up, out of special openings above the thrust collar. Lubricant flows over all the stem threads and bearing surfaces before going back down into the reservoir. As the hydrant is open, incoming water pressure force flushes these double drain valves and drain openings to assure that they are clear. Once the hydrant is fully open the drain valves are closed so water no longer escapes through the drains, and the hydrant fills. If the caps will be open the water will flow. As the fire hydrant is closing the water, Pressure once more force flushes the drain valves and establishes water flow into the drain field once the hydrant is fully closed. The drain valves remain open and allow the barrel to drain. Now the hydrant is ready to be used again. Some facts about the hydrants. Before the onset of modern water systems and hydrants, it was common practice to employ bucket brigades to put out fires. Bucket brigades were created by forming a human chain and passing buckets of water from person to person until the water reached the fire. The invention of the fire hydrant is unofficially credited to Frederick Graff, chief engineer of Philadelphia Water Works, in 1801. Ironically, the official fire hydrant patent is rumored to have been destroyed in a fire. There are different types of color depending on the water flow. Red indicates a water flow capacity of fewer than 500 gallons per minute. Orange indicates a water flow capacity of 500 to 999 GPM. Green indicates a water flow capacity of 1000 to 1499 GPM. Blue indicates a water flow capacity of 1500 or greater GPM. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.